Hello everyone, this is Jorge Sahia, and today I'm going to be talking about applying clear code to custom diecast model aircraft. So this is the model that I'm going to be working with. It's an Avenza DC9-30 and this was made using a JC Wings 12200 scale blank model. And it is fully ready for the uh, clear code to be applied. So what that means is that all the uh, decals that I applied and all the uh, painting that I did is fully dry and cured. And also the uh, model has been uh, cleaned very well because remember once you apply the clear code everything that is on the surface of the model is going to be sealed in by the clear code. And you are never, uh, at least in my experience, it's really difficult to uh, completely clear every single dust particle from the uh, model but, uh, but, but it's good to try to clean it the best you can uh, to avoid any, any mistakes on the uh, surface of the models. The uh, clear coat that I'm going to be using is this one right here. It's made by Mr. Hobby. It's called Top Coat and the finish is uh, gloss. I've, I have been using this for a long time. Somebody recommended it to me uh, a while ago and I, I have been getting good results with it. It is really easy to apply. It spreads evenly across the uh, surface of the model and it gives a really nice uh, a smooth uh, finish. However, no matter how good the uh, top coat that you use is and no matter how well you apply it, the, uh, the finish is never, at least in my experience, is never going to be as good as the uh, finish these models come with from the uh, factory. So I guess it's important to point out that uh, uh, customizing diecast models is a bit of a niche hobby. On the, uh, on the one hand, you have the uh, people that build kits uh, from scratch, uh, plastic kits. They build them, they paint them, they apply the decals and whatever other, other details they want. And then on the other hand, you have people that buy uh, already made diecast models. And somewhere in the middle, you have people that customize diecast models. Uh, we don't want to uh, build a full kit, but we, uh, we can get the model pre-made because it doesn't exist or it's too difficult to find or whatever other reason. But what I'm trying to get at is that these models are not m meant to be customized. And yes, uh, we are seeing uh, blank models come out to the market like this one, um, which in a way are meant to be customized, but uh, still they already come uh, done from the factory with the, uh, with the uh, clear coat and the finish already uh, applied to them. So um, I would say they make the uh, customization uh, work a little bit easier or the customization process I should say um, but uh, still they are not ideal so that's why that nice finish that you see um, is going to be uh, you're gonna lose that when you apply the uh, clear coat which again is not ideal so you, you might be asking yourself, so uh, why do we apply clear coat then? Why don't we just leave the model as it is right now, since it's looking real nice? Well, so the clear coat is needed because, um, first of all, you, you need to uh, protect the decals, especially on a large heavy model like this one. It's really difficult to handle without touching the uh, decals. and. Uh, you know, uh, applying some friction to them, and it's really easy to uh, to damage them like that. Also, uh, with time, uh, the uh, decals might might start to uh, deteriorate. So you want to uh, protect them with clear coat to uh, extend their lives or or prevent them from the deteriorating. And in this uh, particular model, besides the uh, decals, I also did some minor painting here on the wingtips. And then again, because the model is not meant to be customized, the uh, surface is really smooth, so it's really difficult for the paint to stick to it. So I know, 
I can remove this paint with my finger right now if I wanted to. So that's another reason you want to apply clear coat. You want to seal all that in. Um, besides also the uh, decals, uh, I don't know if you can see it here, but the edge of the, uh, of the decal, the clear coat is also going to help uh, smooth all that out. So those are the reasons why we need to apply clear coat in spite of uh, having to sacrifice the uh, nice uh, finish that the model comes from the factory with. So now I'm going to try to explain to you what I'm going to be doing uh, since I'm going to be, uh, uh, I'm not going to be able to talk to you while I'm clear coating the model. So uh, first of all, I'm not going to be spraying this way, I'm going to be spraying away from my car so I don't want to, you know, apply any clear coat. Uh, to my cars. In fact, I already know, I already know this a uh, small can doesn't have a lot of uh, uh, pressure. So if I, but if I, if I was using a larger can, I would definitely uh, take my cars out of the garage or, or something like that. Uh, I'm also going to have a, a fan blowing air so that uh, I get airflow. The, uh, the garage is open by the way, but the light works better to film this way right now. But anyways, I'm gonna have that fan creating some airflow around the garage, and uh, I'm gonna be wearing a protective uh, gear also. You don't want to be breathing in all those fumes, and uh, you wanna protect your, 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 your eyes. Um, like I said, the model is already clean. Um, sometimes the uh, air pressure from the can can move the model and this is a by the way this is a 1 to a 400 scale stand but it works real well with this one and it does have a little bit of play though but I, I already know that it, it should be okay I uh, trust me I wouldn't be doing this if <laughs> if I knew the model was gonna fall um, so yeah so just like uh, when you spray paint um, you hold the can about, I don't know, uh, six inches away from the model or so and you go on continuous uh, uh, movements. You don't want to stop because what's going to happen is you're going to flood a particular spot. And I'm going to tell you, clear coat is more forgiving than paint, but, but still, you're going to mess the model up. So you just keep going, keep going. And I like to apply a fairly uh, thick um, a layer of clear coat that's that's just me so you will see me um, going back and forth uh, three to four times and then I'm gonna let uh, you know the clear coat kind of like settle around for about 10 seconds or so and then you will probably see me just try to get the model closer to the edge so that so that I can spray uh, at a lower angle so that I can get the uh, tail logo and kind of like under the uh, the vertical sorry the uh, horizontal stabilizer there um, then you will see me turn the model around and do the same on the uh, on the other side same thing you know three to four times then at a low angle to make sure that the uh, clear coat gets in here and then on this one I need to uh, clear coat the wings also because I have a, a decal right there the uh, registration is a decal and I, I like I already mentioned the uh, the wing tips are painted so I want to seal that paint in and not only that but I also want to smooth out the uh, the layer between the two um, the you know, between the two coats of paint, the original coat that comes from the factory and the coat that I applied on the wing tip. So to do that um, you know, I don't want to mess up the fuselage, so I w I'm gonna spray it like this, but I'm not gonna stop right on top of the fuselage. I'm gonna go past the entire airplane. I'm kind of gonna do that again one or two, or rather two to three times uh, for the, um, the right wing, and then I'm gonna do the same thing uh, for the left wing. Then, to, uh, to get the uh, the anti-glare decal right there. By the way, the windshield that you see, that's the windshield that, that's uh, Tampo printed on the model, that's the original windshield, uh, but the anti-glare is a decal that I apply. So to seal that in, you will see me also kind of go like a 
right here, you know, <laughs> um, to make sure that I get that, as well as the uh, nose registration decal right there. Uh, although I'm, I'm also gonna get that one from the side too. And then I'm probably gonna come to the, uh, really bring the model to the edge. I've gotta be really careful though. <laughs> so that I can get down here and spray underneath the model again because I have another decal right here a registration under the wing and the uh, bottom part of the uh, wing tips besides uh, you know sealing everything all the decals and the paint I also want to clear coat the whole airplane because I want uh, an even finish all around it if that makes sense so uh, yeah uh, you, like I said you will see me uh, kind of like wait about five to ten seconds um, between uh, between applications to wait for the clear code to settle and w one more thing I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna have the chance to tell you this later but uh, you want to um, uh, you don't want to remove your uh, mask uh, and your uh, eyewear right away because there is going to still be uh, uh, spray particles lingering around and you want to leave the model uh, alone for at least uh, you know let's say the minimum 10 minutes this stuff dries real quick but uh, to be safe at least 30 minutes before you touch the model at all and if, if you're in doubt what I normally do is I come here and I touch the uh, the base or, or, or the cardboard here there is gonna be clear coat here as well so you can touch that and see if it is sticky of it, uh, or if it is already dry um, as you, one last thing though as you can see I did um, mask the landing gear because the tires are rubber and I don't want them to uh, look shiny clear coated I, I want them to continue looking the way they look right now so that's that guys I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, switch to my cell phone camera I'm gonna try to film the uh, clear recording process
All right, everyone. So uh, this is the model, and it has been about three minutes since the uh, last application of Clear Code. I, I I already removed my mask and my uh, my uh, protective uh, glasses, but the uh, the fan is still going. And I just want you to look at the model, how it looks right now. Hopefully, you're getting a good look. Um, how it looks right after the application. Uh, it's still wet, of course, I, I wouldn't touch it. Um, it it looks really nice, uh, uh, um, nicer than what I expected. I, I have to say, and, and, and the reason I have uh, uh, two, uh, two cans of clear cut right here is because I have to say that this is the first time that I used the uh, gloss finish on a, on a blank model. Uh, the one that I used to use for the longest time was the uh, semi-gloss and you know how I was saying that it's never gonna look the clear coat is never gonna look as good as the uh, factory finish well I have to say that, that right now it's looking pretty darn close so uh, yeah you know hopefully the uh, the gloss uh, version of uh, Mr. Hobby top coat um, is finally gonna be the answer to uh, sealing the decals and the paint uh, and getting that uh, real nice finish um, okay now I'm gonna let the model dry and uh, it's probably gonna be uh, just so you have an idea of what's going on here behind the scenes I'm probably going to um, let this dry for about an hour just because I, I have other stuff that I need to go and do and then I'm gonna come back and see and yeah maybe tonight tonight or tomorrow I will let you know of course uh, um, I'll, I'll take the the pictures and you will see those later in this video all right everyone so it has been about five hours since the last time that I spoke with you <laughs> um, uh, what I did is actually I applied a second layer of clear code to uh, the model right here because I really like how it was looking so I thought the model would benefit from a second layer so basically uh, what uh, you saw me doing I did it all over again about 40 minutes after the uh, uh, f 40 minutes in between the uh, two um, applications so yeah I, I did it all over again just to make it a little bit uh, thicker of a layer the only issue that I had was a bit of uh, something right there on the uh, anti-glare looks like a bubble or something I'm not, not really sure uh, that's probably uh, from the uh, decal application itself and not um, because of the clear code per se. So what I have here is another uh, JC Wings blank DC9 uh, next to the Avenza one. You can tell that one, this one right here, is a little different. Uh, you know, it doesn't have a nose cone and the windshield is different. But what I want you to see is the uh, difference in the uh, finish of the clear coat versus the factory finish like I said this uh, uh, the clear coat that I'm using on this Avenza DC9 is actually really nice I think it gives a really nice finish it's different than the uh, the finish the model come comes with from the factory so you can tell and you can see for yourself and decide which one is better I think they both uh, look good but anyways let me uh, go ahead and flip the switch here from video to a uh, photo and let's get some macro shots <laughs> 